Like many large Asian cities, Manila's private and public transport systems have long passed the point of overload. A system of choked roads designed, it seems, to ensure that you can get nowhere fast. Unless you're on one of these. Intense gridlock has encouraged one little flower to bloom in the transport wasteland, the trolley cars of Manila. Carving through traffic jams on one of these little trolleys is a breeze. But not exactly a pleasure with the thought of a thousand tons of train looming around the corner. This is, uh, this is faster than a taxi. Yeah, no traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have uh, enemies, the train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's your natural, uh, yeah. your natural enemy, huh? <laughs> Hanaro Daklason has been running these rails and successfully avoiding his natural enemy for 18 years. Very quickly. Yeah. We someone hear some hear some hey, we just boom. <laughs> and what about me too? Jump on quicker. Yeah. With a train coming from one direction or the other every 15 minutes. Hanaro, his young son and guests are certainly kept on their toes. This is my younger son, Gerald. Gerald, hello Gerald. Basawai. <laughs> For a couple of days, Hanaro becomes my guide to the community of trolley men who live and work around PUP, the Philippines University. How many, uh, how many kids have you got? I have two kids, nine and six years old. Yeah, and they, uh, and they live with you? Yeah. Home is a camp beside the railway line, and most of the time it's safer for Gerald to spend his days with his dad. I'm Mark. My name's Mark. Can you say Mark? Mark. Mark, that's it. The family were forced out of this area a few years ago, and moved to a squatter relocation area on the outskirts of Manila. Hanaro's wife remained there, but with no income, Hanaro and the boys moved back to the rails. So where do you sleep now? Uh, with me, it was a trolley with my two kids, a sidecar, rolling sidecar. Just That's here. my house, yeah. That, that sidecar is... In the sidecar? Yeah. It's your house, hey? Yeah. At the entrance to the university, a dozen or so trolley drivers live and ply their trade. This camp is as illegal as the trolleys themselves. Periodically, there'll be a raid by railways police here, but the service the trolley guys provide buys them a lot of friends and a bit of tolerance. No one else can cut 30 minutes off a bus or taxi ride downtown with a five or 10 minute trundle. Uh, it's comfortable to us. It's comfortable, yeah? yes? Comfortable and at about 10 cents a ride, very cheap. How much does a ride cost you? Uh, five pesos per person. Five pesos per yes. person, yeah? And how much does the train cost? Uh, it's 10 pesos for the for new the train. train. New train. train. And uh, how much does a taxi cost? Uh, it's 30 pesos for the ride. 30 pesos? Okay, all right, cool, have fun. Okay, thanks. All the passengers here know the drill. When the horn blows, you get off and move to the side very quickly. As soon as the train passes, it's back on board to enjoy another two or three kilometers of open road. Apart from some apparent safety flaws, the trolleys are everything public transport is meant to be. Cheap, reliable and always on the move. 
and on the face of it, all the staff seem pretty chirpy too. Ernie has been riding the rails for 16 years and credits it with saving his life. Uh, because, be, you know, before I had a hypertension, yeah. two times I've been stroked. Two strokes? Uh, then when I tried this one, I didn't have that, uh, <laughs> I didn't have that stroke anymore. <laughs> it's, a be, it's a better job, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, so you, you like this job? Yeah, I like this job. And uh, it's relaxing? I exercise with money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, was your, uh, what was your job before? I was security guard. Security, yeah. Uh, <laughs> All stories are about perspective, and you certainly get a different view of the trolley guys from the driver's seat of a passenger train. Ryan has one of the most hair-raising jobs in the Philippines. Train tracks are regarded here as rare open space to be enjoyed by all. Crowded on all sides and bang in the middle are the trolley men. Hindi hindi dapat sila dito sa sa sa, sa train. The the trolley men is very dangerous to the PNR operation. Do people get hit sometimes? Oh, plenty. Plenty. Yeah. Did he did he hit the train hit? Yeah. And hit the man? Chop chop. Chop chop? Yeah. Killed the man? Yeah, killed the man. Oh. Camps and shanties are cleared out of here every few years, but life soon trickles back. And when the people come, the trolley guys soon follow. Alabang moves. Alabang moves? Yeah, we continue left and right moves. All along the track? Yeah. That's cool. At night, I go, I get my trolley in beside the side and then when time uh, rest, then we go to sleep with my whole family. Like you bring your family? Yeah. And, and you sleep on the trolley, huh? Yeah, me, but my two kids on the sidecar. In the sidecar? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So this becomes your bed? Yeah. Hanado walks over the land where he was born a shanty town that the rail authorities demolished two years ago. When Hanado moved back from his relocation area, this time he put his house on wheels. A simple bike with a sidecar provides just enough room for his kids to sleep and the ability to make a quick getaway if the railway police come. Yeah. That's it, then I will take a dinner or what? Breakfast or lunch? This trolley. You're ready for the night? Right? Yeah. The trolley is your home and your work? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, I mean, a, it's all around. It's everything. It's <laughs> yeah. everything. It's trolley. everything. Yeah. <laughs> when I going to my relocation, I, I need to, I have nothing with to it. eat. So yeah. I take a move then to yeah, my yeah. family. We go back to Manila to PUP. To get the work. Yeah. Hanado's yeah. home sits right beside the wall of the University of the Philippines. This is the university uh, beside us here, right? Yeah. Just a few short steps, but a world away. Remarkably, Hanado crossed that divide, passed the entrance exam, and studied at the university for two years until poverty pulled him back to the rails. Yeah, computer technology. Yeah. So, so uh, undergraduate, no practicum, sir. Yeah. But uh, that's very good. You uh, uh, you did well. At, you went to school and you uh, got into university. Yeah, huh? but uh, lack of money. That's yeah. why I trolley. Then I will loaded passenger. I will eat now with my family. Yes, so yes, yes. I, I will. Yeah. Just common sense. Yeah. Yeah. There's no no work in the computer business for you. No. But some someday, if I won the lotto, I mean. I will take a business with my computer knowledge. It's dinner time for Gerald and his brother Hanair. Hanaro and his trolley take a break before the evening shift begins. He won't finally rest until midnight. <laughs> Dali na, kain na muna. Bukas magkagandutan. 
The Philippines seems to be full of stories like Hanaro's, smart, motivated people unable to get a leg up. He fell back, but Hanaro hopes his own two kids can get off the rails. Hanair is in school and Gerald is soon to follow. This coming June, he want to prep or uh, kinder. He's six years old from now. Yeah? What do you want to be when you uh, grow up? Police. Police. Are you sure? Police? Policeman, yeah? Oh. They'll be coming down chasing out the uh, trolley men, the police. <laughs> For now, Hanaro makes the best of what he has, and what he has is not too bad. Yeah, I'm happy with my neighbors. Yeah, you got good neighbors, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We have not. Mm, have uh, somebody, I mean, uh, we have family here. Yeah, 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 yeah. One big family. Yeah. You've got lovely kids though. You've got I love my kids. Yeah, they're nice kids. They're good kids, right? Yeah. So, uh, That's why when I very tired, then I will wake up, then I will see my two kids beside me. I'm very powerful, too strong to push the trolley. You're strong again. Yeah. And uh, you hope that they'll go to university uh, one day, maybe. Maybe some someday. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what? I think you're doing a good job. Two kids? No, you. You're doing a good job. You're. A good, uh, yeah, I'm doing good job too. Beside my two kids. Yeah. I'm really. <laughs>